Dun! 2018 Pirelli World Championship. This is my first time seeing an actual race here at Circuit of the Americas, albeit it's not the ever popular F1 race, but this will have to do. I'm just here as a guest. Natalie here is here for one of her sports journalism classes, so she's got special media center access. I'm just here to watch cars go in circles. On the infield now by the paddock. Got some stuff set up, got some of the drivers signing autographs, kind of cool. Gotta love the fire suits. This is all included with just a one or a two day ticket, which isn't that expensive. I think I paid 50 bucks for a full weekend pass and get all this access, which is pretty neat. Natalie gets to go in the media center. Whoa. Guess I'm just out here with the loud cars. Got all the Mazda drivers, it seems, to sign my little, just this piece of paper. Pretty cool. One of the drivers actually recognized me. I didn't catch his name, but I will definitely figure it out before I post this. I'll talk about it later, but one of those dudes watches my YouTube channel. I think that's something. They're still running uh, each of the different classes and stuff, are running different qualifying sessions right now, so we're on the infield just uh, taking a look around. Still pretty cool, this is all included on just the base ticket. Keep in mind guys, I know very little about the World Challenge, the Pirelli World Challenge. I don't know much about this racing series. I'm really trying to broaden my horizons these days, I'm trying to watch more racing, get into more racing, go to different racetracks. But I'm still, I'm kind of clueless. Here's where the race cars went. These were out on track when we first got here. Looks like they're all uh, kind of sheltered up here. About time for the first race to start. Really exciting. Oh. Oh. if we can get on top of this huge tower. The place is so big. You can just walk for miles, honestly, without even seeing the whole, like there's grandstands. I mean, we've been walking for like 15 minutes to get away from the main grandstands, and I still see grandstands like in a haze off in the distance. This place, oh, this place, this place, this place will take, take a lot out of you. But I'm hoping we can get up in there. I mean, you might need a special pass or take it, I have no idea, but. It's just sitting there. It'd be kind of rude if they just put it there without letting you go in it. Okay, so it costs $10 to go up in this tower. We're gonna wait until one of the next races starts because that would be a heck of a view. But now we're out here on kind of like, not the back stretch, but we're back out here through a lot of the S's. So uh, this, this place is so sprawled out. They have a huge amphitheater, whoops, behind this thing, a huge amphitheater for big, big, big concerts and shows, especially during the F1 race weekend. Two pizza huts. Two Pizza Huts, count them, count them with me. Not one, but two of the Pizza Huts. This place, it's got like three main entrances. Here's the actual stage and amphitheater with green hills. This thing looks like a Olympic ski jump. Like, I mean, you got the people start way up there. Whoosh. Never to be seen again. Okay, slightly new vantage point for the second race, the GTS Sprint X race. Pirelli World Challenge race number two. Here they come. See, this place is so huge. God, look at them. They're just like little snakes back there. Ugh, and right before they got to us, they put out a caution on lap one. Here they are, though, going not quite full speed. stay green for another half a lap and we already got another big rack. This is probably gonna bring out another yellow flag here in a minute. Come on now guys, come on, come on now. Oh, pfft. dude just, I, know, I feel bad, that's some heavy damage. That's some legit damage. They spin out a lot more than I would've thought. Eh, it's getting hot and they keep having caution so we're gonna go up in the tower now. Sounds like a, sounds like a good plan. Oh God, walking up this thing sucks. Ugh, and then made it to the top. Yeah, that's uh, quite the trek up here. But hey. Just get a load of that. Wow.
gracious. Ooh. Ooh. That's terrifying. There are cars. <laughs> so high up. This race has just now come to a close, it would appear. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, over there by the entrance, there's actually a pretty rad looking go-kart track. Oh my gosh, looking straight down at me. Such a cool view. And now that that race is over, much quieter out here, much more serene looking. That's right, we're also right here by the airport. This is just crazy right here. Look at this, that's the tower that we're on. It looks like it's like screwed up and bent over. <laughs> Green flag. Ooh. Wow, that is wild right through there. Pretty, pretty good racing here to start this race. God, they look so slow when they were like a half mile away. Three wide for third. Oh, this could get dicey. Yeah, it's the fastest part of the track down into one of the slowest parts of the track. Ooh, this little green car making some moves. Oh, oh you got to stick. Good for him, got like three passes right there. Could get dicey right here. Is he gonna run him over? Oh, if he runs him over. No, I was about to say, I don't think he's gonna run him over, but that would be putting pressure on him, that's for sure. Oh, now it's time to walk back down like 25 stories of stairs. Oh gosh. I know of a faster way down. No, no, I'm not, not gonna do that. Step, 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 step. Woo! So I found the name of the guy who recognized me, Robert Noker. So shout out, bro. It is heating up around here for sure. Yeah, so anyway, that's about gonna do it. The Pirelli World Challenge at Circuit of the Americas. Pretty cool, never seen racing quite like that. Never been to that track for a racing event before. And uh, it's a... Uh, had a pretty good time. So, hope you guys enjoyed following along, and uh, I'll see you guys again real soon. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Have a good one.